Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Net Producer Magazine reporting to you here today with Billy Sink from Project Apis M. Almond pollination is well underway and wanted to talk with Billy about you know how to recognize how well the pollination is, is you know, the efficacy, but also at what point is it time to remove the hives? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, hive removal is something that should be discussed uh, before and, and, and latest during almond bloom with the beekeeper and the grower and kind of it can be tricky to know when to remove them because there's a lot of activity. So oftentimes you'll see a bee going up to a flower and you might think that she's pollinating it, but you know you kind of have to do a little closer inspection to just figure out what's really going on. Uh, when a almond flower opens up, uh, the anthers are, haven't dehissed yet, they haven't released their pollen, they're, they're plump and yellowish but not fuzzy. Once they're mature, the anther is going to be uh, have a fuzzy yellow quality to it. And if you kind of run it along your fingers or smear it across a piece of paper, you would see that yellow um, smear. Once those anthers have dried up, uh, they're going to be dark, not fuzzy at all, but they still have nectar. So the, the, the bee that is going to that flower that might sit on that petal collecting nectar, they're not necessarily pollinating. So that's why the University of California and the Almond Board, under their best management practices, recommend to remove hives at about 90% petal fall of your latest maturing variety. That way you know that you have enough pollination, you haven't missed out any, um, but you're also not you know, potentially exposing those bees to something else in the landscape that you don't necessarily have control over. Because once your food source dries up, they're going to start flying around looking for something else. Thanks. So now, you know, if we get rainstorms, things that may set back pollination a little bit, slow the bees down, is there anything you'd say in here regarding that? Well, yeah, that's why it's important to have the two hives, we recommend two hives per acre, to have those be uh, strong qualities uh, at, at the minimum of the eight frame, uh, eight frame average per colony. Uh, that way, if you do get inclement weather, overcast skies, uh, precipitation, just generally cold weather, you might only have two, three hours of, of bee flight activity. You know, it might only be a short period of the day that those bees can actually fly. So you need the most robust, vital, most populous hives to get the job done in that, in that small amount of time. Great, well thank you, Billy. Read more about almond pollination and these things you talked about today in the March issue of Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.